And lastly tonight, a case of too much balance and too much arrogance. Last year, Media Watch had a go at Win News in Wollongong, New South Wales. It ran a story about a measles epidemic in southwest Sydney and the need for parents to get their kids vaccinated. Then, this. All vaccinations in the medical literature have been linked with the possibility of causing autism, not just the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. Meryl Dory of the misnamed Australian Vaccination Network inserted into a news story in the name of Balance to spout unscientific nonsense. At the end of the item, I said this. To put it bluntly, there's evidence and there's bulldust. It's a journalist's job to distinguish between them, not to sit on the fence and bleat balance, especially when people's health is at risk. That's my view. We'll let you know what the ACMA rules sometime next year. Well, the ACMA did rule last week. It found that WinTV had breached the commercial TV code of practice because it failed to broadcast factual material accurately. The ACMA media release continued... Given the important public health issues involved, the ACMA recommended to WinTV that it make an on-air statement concerning the ACMA's findings. But WinTV has refused, and there's nothing more the ACMA can do. It's been asking for years for the power to order on-air corrections. The issue is being considered right now by a Senate committee which is due to report next week. In my view, WinTV shouldn't need to be compelled. It should just do it. Full responses from the ABC and others on our website, though none from WinTV, which didn't answer our questions. Until next week, good night. Good night.